Hi everyone, I am Shiv Gupta and today in this video, I am going to share some best ways to write titles and how it affects the search results rankings. First, pay attention to the length. Google and other search engines display 60 to 70 characters of a title length before cutting it off in the search results. So you should aim for writing the title tags which are around 60 to 70 characters. Otherwise, you might miss some important keywords from showing on Google. To be safe, start with the most important words in the keyword so they don't get cut off. If you want to add your brand name in every title tag, place it at the end after the words that describe what that particular page is all about. Second, use your targeted keyword but don't overdo it. When someone searches your website, every page should answer a query or give relevant information. Your website will be more beneficial to your viewers if it appears in a search for proper keywords, right when they are searching for the information you provide. So, you should have a targeted keyword in mind for your page. Google algorithm uses the title tag as one of the primary strategies for understanding what a page is all about. Title tag is a great chance for you to include the primary keywords for which you are optimizing that page. This tells Google that your website is relevant for anyone searching for precise information. Just be careful not to pray for keyword stuffing. Third, make your title tag easy to understand for your readers. Let's understand this point with an example. Suppose you want to learn how to cook pasta. You searched on Google and found two types of results. First is how to cook pasta with XYZ ingredients. And the next is how to cook pasta in 10 minutes. Which result will you click on? I will click on second result as that result will teach me to cook pasta in just 10 minutes. Might be YouTube. By using the headlines that tells your readers that they will learn something new in less time, make them feel excited and they will surely click on the title. You have to make it sound easy. Do not include the process in the headline since it sounds like a lot of work. Target the result and the real motivation of the readers. Fourth, be descriptive of what is on the page. When your web page does show up in search engines, a lot of people decide whether or not to click on based upon your title tag. If they click and come to a web page that is not what they expected based on the title, they are likely to click the back button right away and look for some different results. You want your title tag to provide an exact description of what people are going to see. When they choose to visit the web page, when people's expectations match what they see on the page, it results in a reduced website bounce rate and more time spent on the site. More importantly, it improves your visitor's experience. You want every visitor to enjoy what they see and return for more. This is less likely to occur if your title tag is unclear. Fifth, make a brief for what is on the page. You don't have a lot of space for this, but use when you have to differentiate what makes your web page so great. Usually, this can be achieved by adding an adjective in front of a descriptive word or an additional keyword behind it. A strong title tag for a blog post or article frequently looks a lot like a good headline. So you may be able to reuse the headline you have previously created. Your title tag should highlight the importance of your page that is provided to the searcher. Taking the time to make sure that your page title is optimized for your user interest and SEO crucial and will be well worth the effort. So this is the end of the video. I've shared my best five tips on how you can write perfect SEO optimized title. If you are still facing any problem, let me know in the comment section below. Now I'll take your leave and we'll meet you in another interesting video. Until then, keep moving forward. Bye-bye.